I remember watching Pulp Fiction for the first time when I was 12 or 13. And oh my being, God. Sorry, yeah, I have very, <laughs> very, wonder, very, very, very wonderful, you. irresponsible oh parents. But I, I, and I remember watching it and I was also a big Saturday Night Live fan at the time and being kind of like, Julia Sweeney? What are you doing with Harvey Keitel? How did you end up, I mean, I know he directed your, 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 your one woman show, or he worked, he produced yeah, your yeah, one woman he, yeah. show, but how did you end up in Pulp Fiction? Um, he, uh, Quentin came to the show with Harvey Keitel when he hosted and we did a Pat sketch and Quentin was really into Pat and like <laughs> and knew he and like really? he remembered every sketch and he could repeat the lines of every Pat sketch that I had that was, I've written was and running forgotten. around like just being like okay yeah I love Pat I like, know though he's really into Pat and also I'm a big film person and mm -hmm. obviously he is and so we bonded over I think it was over Yasuhiro Ozu movies. We were oh, both wow. into the, those I Japanese love, movies. I love Ozu, oh, I yeah. love that. Anyway, but anyway, so we had this great bonding. We became friends, and he was writing Pulp Fiction. And I don't think it was just me. He had a group of friends that, but I was one where he would call them at night and read them what he'd written that day. Oh wow! So he was writing it. So he was calling me and saying, "Oh, this is what it is." And then one night he goes, "I wrote something for you." And then he read it to me, and then I ended up doing it. It was fun. It was that's exciting. So great. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, you are immortalized in Pulp Fiction. I mean, <laughs> there's so many things you're immortalized in, but that's Pulp Fiction. It's you know. No, I know. No, I, I couldn't be more honored to be in that film.